Hey, next guys, our kid correspondents, they weren't available this week, so we went ahead and sent out Jermaine Harrison to do an investigative report, and we can't wait to share with you what he discovered. If you talk to any single white female in America in 2020, you'll hear all about the Enneagram. And we all know the Enneagram impacts our work and our relationships, but did you know that the Enneagram also impacts the way you shelter in place? And with that in mind, here are some helpful tips for coping with quarantine based on your Enneagram type. Type 8 people are known as the challengers. We're starting with you because we know you wouldn't listen if you weren't first. And here's our tip for you. Try to rein in that feedback. Of course it started in a lab. Hasn't anybody ever seen a zombie movie? This thing is definitely spreading by those 5G cell towers. In fact, they're probably using 4G. Hey Jackie, where do we keep those iPhone 3Gs? Bill Gates has definitely evolved. I bet The Rock is too. What are you guys watching? Jumanji? Guys, this is exactly what he wants. Oh, look at that, your projections are wrong again. These PhD nerds. Type nine people are known as the peacemakers. They want everyone else to be happy, which can sometimes paralyze their decision making. And so here's our tip for you. It's okay, you can make a decision without melting down. Hi babe, what's for dinner? Do we want to do leftovers or order in? Uh, leftovers would be good, but maybe delivery easier? Okay, are you in the mood for something? I don't know, what are you in the mood for? I'm honestly, I'm fine with whatever you decide. I, I don't know. Um, I mean, we could heat up the pizza from last night, but I mean, fajitas sound good. Yeah. Well, I don't so, want fajitas. We just had pizza last night. Well, I'm just starving. Just pick something. I can't. I'm just gonna go watch Gilmore Girls for like three hours. Three hours? But we're hungry. Type ones are known as the reformers. Because you're rational and perfectionistic, your biggest challenge will be to ignore your inner critic. This is your home office setup. This is a terrible setup. You don't even have a webcam. You're gonna look so stupid on your virtual meetings. Did you do your makeup in the dark this morning? You're horrible at sheltering in place. At the end of this, you're probably gonna get fired. Type twos are known as the helpers. And here's our tip for you. You can't fix everything. You can't please everyone. And sometimes you need to take care of yourself. Okay, so my friend Kaylee, she loves movies. So I got her these DVDs, a box of popcorn to go with, and a nice cozy blanket so she can cuddle on up. I'm working on some meal trains for my friends who are having kids. The Hills are having their baby in June, so I've scheduled eight meal trains with two in the hopper. The Coods are having their baby in July, so I've only scheduled six meal trains, but I got an actual train to deliver one of them. Now, let's talk drive-by parades. My little nephew, Timmy, just lost his first tooth. We're organizing a drive-by parade so we can celebrate him. I'm even dressing up as the Tooth Fairy. I just found out that my friend Jermaine, he has a gluten allergy, so we're doing a parade to encourage him, all bringing him some treats, which are gluten-free, of course. Wait, when are you supposed to have this done by? Type three people are known as the achievers. And you guys can stop posting humble brags on social media about how great you are at self-isolating. We see you and we think you're awesome. Hey guys, your girl Shelly here. I just wanted to pop on here really quick and share my top five ways that you can start an online business while still crushing it as a homeschool mom. Also, if you missed yesterday, I did share like seven or eight blog posts about 10 minute recipes that you can do at home. And if you tune in tonight after the kids go to bed, I'm gonna be talking about how to keep your marriage fires burning during quarantine. Also hit me up if you need essential oils. Type four people are known as the individualists. They're creative types who can be extra dramatic, sensitive, and prone to melancholy. And here's our tip for you. It's okay to be your creative self, but don't let it lead you towards worst case scenarios. Ah, yes, I've seen this movie before. This Corona thing is how it starts. And before you know it, I'll be walking around with my German shepherd, having quick-witted banter with mannequins in store windows. No one to lean on. Just me and me alone, hitting five iron shots off empty aircraft carriers. What are you doing? Oh, I don't know. What does it look like? Journaling? We are entering a new age of darkness like nothing the world has ever seen. But this will not stand. No. This will not stand! 
type 5 people are known as the investigators. They want to know why things are the way they are and understand how the world works. Be sure you stop your research long enough to care for the needs of those around you. Hey babe, babe, can you help me with the groceries? Yeah, yeah, sure thing. I'm reading about the effectiveness of various types of antibody testing. Hey, all the groceries are in. Can you at least help me feed Harper? Yeah, sure thing. Hey, d did you know that contact tracing was very effective in South Korea? I mean, this is fascinating stuff. Hey babe, w when's dinner? Type six people are known as the loyalists. They're security oriented and are able to foresee problems and prepare. Just don't let yourself become too cautious or it may turn into anxiety. I've been preparing for something like this for years. I knew this was coming. I got plenty of food, I got TP. We're ready for whatever could hit us. Fun fact, the toilet paper, you can reply that. It's kind of disgusting, but it's effective. Wait a minute, what if someone comes to rob us? What if they know we've got this great food in the TP? Do I need to put in a security system? Maybe I should set some traps like an in Indiana Jones. I'll get that great big boulder to come and smash them. Why didn't I think about getting a boulder? Type seven people are known as the enthusiasts. They're busy and fun loving and spontaneous. And here's our tip for you during shelter in place. Try not to get arrested. Hey, it's Connor! I know him! Hey, it's Connor! Hey, hey, it's coming here. It's no big deal. Hey, it's fine, they've released them. Small get together at my place this Thursday night. I miss y'all. There's gonna be like 30 people there. Now I know what you're thinking. Don't freak out. 10 people in the front yard, 10 people in the backyard, and 10 people in the living room. We're social distancing, it's gonna be great. Who's bringing the bean dip? This has been Enneagram Tips for Shelter in Place. For more information on the Enneagram, check out Real Truth real quick. And to no one's surprise, there was 100% positive feedback in the comments section. Thanks for watching and have a great week of worship.